Hey guys, what's going on? This is Mike, and in today's video, I'll be showing you everything that is new in iOS 9. So Apple just wrapped up their keynote for the Worldwide Developers Conference, and now iOS 9 Beta 1 is available for registered Apple developers. So in this video, I'll be showing you everything that has changed from iOS 8 to iOS 9. Now keep in mind, because of my location, I don't have access to some of the new features uh, that are available with iOS 9. For example, the news application that was unveiled uh, with iOS 9 I don't have on my iPhone so as you may remember from watching the keynote the news application was a red icon uh, and it allows you to have access to updated news around the world I don't have access to that on my iPhone so I looked all over the place and I couldn't find it so I guess based on my location I don't have access to that application but nevertheless we're gonna go ahead and take a look at all the new features that I have access to on iOS 9 beta 1 so let's go ahead jump in and get started so the first change is one that we were all expecting, and it is Apple brought the San Francisco font to iOS 9. So Apple actually debuted the San Francisco font with the Apple Watch, saying that it is easier to read on smaller displays. So Apple actually brought the San Francisco font now to iOS 9. So as you can see, I'm in the weather app, and you can see the San Francisco font right here, but it is system-wide. So if I go, uh, for example, into Safari, uh, as you can see, the San Francisco font uh, is everywhere. I think it looks really nice, and it gives your device uh, a fresh, clean look. So that was the first change, the San Francisco font in iOS 9. So the second change is the ability to search in settings. So if you open up settings and you know you want to change something, but you don't know what menu it's hidden under, all you have to do now is search on this new search tab at the top of settings. So if I want to search for reduce motion, all I have to do is start typing it in. And as you can see, it is right there, reduce motion, just tap on it and it will take me to that page quick and easy. Now this is a lot easier than scrolling through all the different tabs and finding what you want to look for. So let's try one more search. Let's go back to the front page and let's search for uh, brightness. So as you can see, display and brightness, just tap it there and it will bring us right to that page. So really easy to search in settings and I believe this was actually a concept that I saw on YouTube and Apple actually did bring uh, searching in the settings app to iOS 9. So that was the second feature, the ability to search in the stock settings app. So the third change is the new redesigned app switcher. So if I double click on the home button, as you can see, we have access to the new app switcher. Now, I don't think there's much that needs to be said about this. It's just a completely new look. There aren't any new features. So you can't kill all the apps at once. That's something that I was hoping Apple would bring, but they didn't. So the same functionality, all you have to do is swipe up on a page to kill it. Now, as you can see, there is a little icon at the top left showing you what the app is along with the name. Now, before in iOS 8, the icon was larger and it was below and the pages were actually spread out more which uh, didn't allow you to be that productive when switching uh, between apps so now in this new app switcher the apps are a lot closer so you can get uh, two apps a lot quicker again you can kill multiple applications at once just by using two fingers uh, and I do feel that this uh, is a much more clean look and a faster way to get to your other apps so that is number three a redesigned uh, and much quicker app switcher uh, the fourth change is actually a small one. Uh, Apple actually got rid of Passbook and renamed it Wallet. So as you can see, we have a new icon here. It's just called Wallet, and I think it looks a lot better. It's on a black background, and it kind of looks like, well, a wallet with different credit cards in it. So if I open it up, as you can see, it looks exactly like Passbook inside, but all we have now is a different name and a different icon. So that was the fourth change. Apple now has a new uh, app called Wallet with iOS 9. Uh, number five, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because I don't really like it, uh, but Find My Friends now comes pre-installed with iOS 9. Ugh. So number six is Apple changed the design of Siri to match uh, the Apple Watch. So if I go into Siri and ask it a question, you will be able to see the new design. What is the temperature in Berlin? It's 14 degrees Celsius right now in Berlin, Germany. So in Siri, there's a new wave pattern thing when you're speaking. It's a lot more colorful and makes it look a lot better. And if you want to say something again when you're already in the Siri interface, we do have a new sort of microphone button down there. So that was number six, a changed Siri interface. 
Next is the new notes application. So as you can see, I'm in the new notes app and there are a few changes. So if you go and go to type something, you can change what type of text you want to have. You can have title, heading, body, checklist, bullet list, dash list, and number list. You can also draw in little sketches. So as you can see, I drew uh, kind of a weird little smiley face, but I can draw something else here just by tapping this icon. So I'll just draw a little scribbled line here and then just tap done and then it will insert it into your note right there. You also can input images, but I'm not going to do that because it will show some personal stuff, but just tap this little icon and you can input an image. Uh, and then right here, if you tap this little guy, uh, you are able to put in uh, little checklists. So if I tap that and then type uh, milk, I guess, if you want to get milk from the store, uh, you can uh, check that off once you have done it. So it's kind of like a reminders feature built right into the notes app. So those are all the changes in the notes app and I think it is one of the major changes with iOS 9. So guys, that's everything new in iOS 9. If I missed anything, please tell me in the comments down below. There are a few features that I knew I missed, uh, and I didn't get access to some of the new iOS 9 features because I am not in the US, I'm in Canada, and Apple doesn't give uh, me those features because of my country. Anyways guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I will have coverage on future betas, so iOS 9 beta 2, 3, 4, uh, as the summer progresses. Anyways guys, thank you for watching. My name is Mike, and I'll see you in the next video.